it's cracked it yo crash here guys i'm here at nascar farm do a weekly update see what's up see what's going on see if anything new any updates on the new restaurant and anything else that might possibly be new here at the park so let's go come on let's pack it up pack it in let this begin as you walk in or not it seems a little bit crowded today today is thursday i think people still on spring break certain schools still on spring break because easter is this weekend so it's sort of still a little more busy but we're gonna go walk and see uh what any updates okay because ghost rider is a long way so if the line goes all the way back here towards the entrance yeah you're looking at a long way for that ride of course here at one of the games you got some really cool berry what do you got these uh, plushies that's so cool of course you can also wear them berry tarot like on um, ball over there but these ones here are pretty cool what are they called sushalos sushmalos well there you guys go that looks pretty tight look at the line for calico rapids it comes all the way out yeah today is going to be a busy day it is warmer today here in cali but not too hot it's perfect on um, theme park weather not like last week last week it was really hot a little update on the restaurant coming up that are more supports to the front i suppose last week it wasn't here now it's all the way around all right look who i ran into ran into quinn from wicked adventures here he got himself this is monkey bread right yes he got himself monkey bread i got the boysenberry cheesecake funnel cake here we're gonna try this out he's gonna try that out this i can't finish but i'm gonna cut it in half and he's gonna try the other half and let me know his thoughts you can see the little cheesecake bites right here the ice cream is sort of melting already because it is kind of warm not too hot and there is the boys and berry sauce looks like strawberry sauce but it is boys and berry sauce and it's a pretty kind of hefty portion definitely for like two or three people who can um devour this puppy so i'm gonna try this portion here i did cut in half so i have half of it i'm gonna give the other half to uh with the ventures it is a big portion train went by loudness the little fairy it looks like pancakes. We do got some ice cream and some berry on here. That's actually pretty good. I'm not even lie about that. Actually really good. Now we're gonna try with some of this um, cheesecake on here. We got some cheesecake bites. You mix it all together. That's really good. The cheesecake bites and the berries, that's actually really good. Oh. But the ice cream, maybe more ice cream on it, probably perfect. But they give you a big portion of the, the berries. Yeah, it's it's really good. It, it blends really well together. It does. That does blend together. Yeah, even the even the little uh, cheesecake bites. Yes. The little cheesecake bites on here. You dip in the sauce. Of course, you get some ice cream on it. That's really good. Wow. And for $15, that's actually really good. It's not part of the meal plan, but if you're um, a fast member, you do get a discount on it. And it's actually worth the $15. It's actually really good. There's one thing um, Knott's is known for, they're known for their farmer cakes. I know um, Magic Mountain has theirs. I haven't tried theirs. They have a used line all the time for the funnel cakes, I which I haven't tried. Doesn't have funnel cakes or so so, but not funnel cakes. Oh, definitely. These ones here are definitely worth it. Okay, so what are your thoughts on the boysenberry funnel cake here at Knott's? Um, I thought this version was really good. It, it, it's fresh. It has the funnel cake itself is crispy. And on the inside, it's really soft. It has a lot of flavor to it. The boysenberry jam is really good. There's, they, they don't have any seeds in it. So it tastes really good, nice and sweet. It's like the, the perfect sweetness. It's not over sweet and you know, not under it. Everything blends well for flavor. Everything blends well. The cheesecake is really good. And of course, the self-serve ice cream is gonna be good as well. So I, I highly recommend this if you can get it. This is really good. And one big tip is eat it while you get it because when it's hot, the ice cream melts really fast. 
All right, so Quinn here, he got himself monkey bread. Monkey bread, right? Is that what it's called? Monkey bread with monkey the bread. Uh, boysenberry glaze. Boysenberry glaze. And I'm not too familiar with monkey bread. He says it's kind of like a cinnamon roll covered with just like bread. Or is it funnel cake or is it just... Uh, um, it's deep fried. Deep fried? Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's what it is. So I'm not too familiar with familiarized with monkey bread. But we're going to taste this puppy out and check it out and see how this thing is. All right, we're going to try one of the monkey breads here. This is how it looks. You get three of these for $15, Eric Frank. $15. It's not part of the meal plan. But if you are a past member or a platinum member, you do get a discount. You do get more of a discount when you're a platinum member. But it has that boysenberry frosting on it. What it is, it's like a cinnamon roll inside. The fried cinnamon roll. There you go. Boysenberry frosting. Like a giant donut. Yeah, the donut hose. It's like it's like a like their fun bun that they, they sell. A mini fun bun. That's exactly what it is. It's actually pretty good. It's really good. It's not. It's not too sweet. Milk or coffee. Yeah. We'll go deal with this. One of those two. Yes. Eating this, you definitely need a cup of milk or um, coffee, a black coffee. That and this, perfect mixture. But this is actually pretty good. I like this. All right, guys. We say goodbye to Quinn for making journeys. Thanks very much, sir. For hanging out with us, I feel appreciate it. Thank you for having me some of that monkey bread. That was good. Welcome. That was good. Thank you for the fun too. That was good as well. Yes. All right, sir. You have a good one. Always cool to hang out with people here at Master Farm. I enjoy time hanging, talking shop, talking, and, and just hanging out and doing food reviews with other vloggers here at theme parks, which is really cool. Wicked uh, journeys, guys. I'll leave his um, link down below. Make sure you guys go check him out. Really cool guy. Awesome guy. Quinn, good cool guy. So I'll leave his link, all the information down below. You guys will follow him, but always cool to run into other people here. Knott's is a little crowded today. Is it the crowd? It's kind of surprising. For a Thursday, it's actually pretty crowded. Usually I don't really see the crowds like this on a weekday. The line for Culture's drive-in food goes all the way back over there. That is a long line. I don't know, Knott's. You guys need mobile ordering. Another thing too, Johnny Rockets has been closed for a very long time. Now there's rumors of them losing their license, so you won't see Johnny Rockets soon, or there's other rumors that they're short staff, but all in all, this place is always closed every time I come. So a Knott's Berry Farm cast member actually hit me out and told me why Cordy's Quarter, Corner is closed. It's because they're redoing the floors and possibly the walls. But it's a remake, or re, not remake, but a redo of like updating the whole store. From what I'm told. So you can see the tables and chairs are out here. We usually have little events on the stage, but nothing's going on right now. But all the tables and chairs are being utilized. That's what you know there's a little crowd here at Nuts. The line for Calico. Oh my god, log ride. It goes here and it even goes all the way back over there. But look at this line. The line is long and huge. Is it worth the wait? Uh, if you want to wait over an hour, yes. If you don't, no. Of course, Montezuma's Revenge, it's got a new sign posted. There we go. Please pardon our dust. Montezuma's Revenge is closed. Uh, one of our other many attractions, Open Fiesta Village, reopening 2023. That's crazy. I was told here at Grizzly Creek Lodge, there's a really good tasting teriyaki burger. Next time I come, I'm gonna have to try that. I think it's one of the few things I have yet to try here for the Boysenberry Festival.